Hmm. What are you most afraid of? Hmm. Maybe they just deserve a little love. Or maybe they're crippled from their genes and stuff. Why look at the weak and make them have an incredibly horrible week? Is it because it's an opportunity to see someone who's beneath and you yourself don't feel quite so chic? I guess it's easy, the ability to see people less than us as an opportunity to bust their butts and be not righteous, but see ourselves as having the right stuff. But what if the tables flipped and they could fly and flip and they became Morbius and Milo, vampires, now you better lay low. What if you can go too far with scientific adventures even if the heart is true, something might change in you. Rearrange DNA. Is that for man to play with? What if you turn dark Sith? What if it's something that even if you admit that you're changing, that it's a little hard to actually change yourself back to who you used to be, even though when you used to be that, you wanted to be part of a different pack when well, now you're flying with the bats. And that's cool, but you drool for blood. And that means that these human beings gotta fall into the mud. If you weren't chic before, now you'll be even more. Uh, lacking of chic because now you're beneath his feet things change things rearrange maybe even dna over generations evolution part of the equation and as history changes and as societal standards turn Hopefully we can still discern what's right and what's wrong. Even if you are gifted a Nobel Prize, if you failed on the inside, then was that so wise? But Morbius flies. Now we gotta ask the who, what, where, the when, and the why for the scientific guys, because they may want to multiply the experiment, validate it. They're probably curious. Isn't that what scientists do? Where's the scientist in you? And as you journey for truth, will you rob yourself of the beauty of your youth? Will you lose who you are as you journey far?